All right, I'm going to do a simple tutorial or just show you guys something that I do with the uh, pink foam and a, or pink foam. This is the blue foam. Uh, you can use any of the styrofoam. It all works pretty much the same. But I'm going to use one of these overhead projectors. And you can get one of these at a garage sale. I got this one for about 10 bucks. I'm also going to show you how to project using a cutout, such as this one. You put the cutout on there, turn the light on, and bam it's right there on the uh, phone for you and it's an easy way to enlarge an image so you can um, you know really do this with just about anything I'm adjusting it up here to kind of use the, the foam the best way I can but um, the next step will be tracing it out uh, you do want to secure the foam so it doesn't move around on you And I'm using a, just a Sharpie is what I'm going to use to trace it out. And you basically just start tracing it out. have it you turn off the light on the projector and there's your image and then you take your uh, foam cutter or whatever you're going to use to cut it with you know exacto blade foam cutting tools from the hot wire foam factory or a hot wire foam table that you met cutting table that you made from the GOE it doesn't matter another cool alternative is to print your image on transparency paper this gives you a much more detailed image um, you can use this for tons of applications. You could project a tombstone that you really like off of the internet, and then you could basically use your hot wire tools and, and carve it into the foam directly from the image, uh, you know, a larger version of it. Uh, tons of applications for this. Really easy to do. The transparencies don't cost much. Um, on here you can see I yellowed the T on the transparency, and the yellow actually transfers onto the foam as well. So you can use this as another application to help you pick out colors um, or you can use it at a party and project it on a wall <laughs> for an event you know there's our TXFX logo for our TXFX haunt group um, you know that's kind of a fun thing if you're having a big conference and then you've got your big logo up on the ceiling or wherever you wanted to project it I just thought that was kind of a cool thing to, uh, to show you guys um, really fun to mess around with these projectors. There's a lot of different uses for them. And uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And I finally got me an, a, a storage device. My computer was just about full. My time machine is backing it up, which is why I didn't do a vlog yesterday. Uh, my computer was just too full and I needed to get something to put everything on. And uh, anyway, just really glad about that. I also wanted to say that the sprocket is on my list. I'm making large sprockets for the facade of the haunt right there on the list. So nobody get on to me. Yay! And in other news, my light burnt out of my cemetery arch. Sad, sad, sad. It was just some Christmas lights in there. And it's been on for a while. So, And I, you know what? I'd rather replace them with LEDs anyway. To, to lower the amount of power in the yard. So I'll have to take those out. They're hot glued in there pretty good. I don't really have an access port other than those letters, so that's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but oh well. Join me come and find you. Is this thing on? Or on?